Alright guys, we just drove from Indian Atlantic Beach up to the Cocoa Beach Pier. So behind me, Cocoa Beach Pier. This is basically kind of like a beach break because it's got sand bottom and it's pretty close to the beach, but the pier affects the shape of the wave a lot. So that can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. When it gets really big, a lot of people will go to piers. And the reasoning is because that pier is going to act as a barrier that will break the wave apart. So. Today's not gonna have this particular thing I'm about to tell you about, but when it's big, there's this thing called the conveyor belt. And the conveyor belt basically is when the water's rushing back out. If you stay, I don't know, 15 feet in, you know, or, or closer to the pier, there's water just rushing out. And it's a really easy way for you to get out quickly. But it's also kind of dangerous and scary. If people get caught in that and they're not ready for it, it's you know a little bit nerve wracking to have you just ripped out past the pier. So today is relatively small and we're just going to go, I think, either on the south side of the pier or maybe end up on the north side, depends on what the waves look like. But we're gonna gauge how far out it is and then we're gonna look around. Another thing to keep in mind is that piers are a house, uh, basically, for fish, sharks, uh, stingrays, you name it. So be careful, drag your feet when you're walking and just kind of be observant and see what else is out in the water with you. When you're body surfing at a pier or an inlet, you want to be really cautious about how close you're actually getting to that structure. So if I'm surfing on the south side of the pier and I go left away from the pier, you know, that'll put me in a position where I'm not gonna hit it. But if I go right and I'm going into the pier, I've eventually got to stop or I'm going to slam into the pier and it's covered in barnacles and you can get seriously hurt. So you need to be careful and um, I've never personally seen anybody shoot the pier body surfing, but it may be possible. And to shoot the pier literally means to ride a wave through the pier. So um, definitely don't try that unless you're super confident and I would say an advanced rider. Um, today I'm going to ride the Bula, again, same board that we were riding in the uh, beach break video. And when you're sitting next to the pier, depending on the day, there can be drift either to the north or south, whatever. If the water is moving in the direction of that pier, you need to be careful because if you're, you know, basically uh, downwind of the pier, it'll blow you into it eventually. So you need to be able to say, yes, I can, you know, catch a wave in or get out of the way or go past the pier, whatever you need to do to not get stuck in the pier. Because getting caught in the middle of those pilings uh, during a big swell, it's seriously scary. So be aware of that. Be aware of the water, the animals, fishermen especially, those guys that are casting the lines in right next to the pier. So all these different factors play a role when you're at either an inlet or a pier or a jetty or what have you. Um, I would say that you're gonna have usually more people when you go to inlets and piers. Cocoa Beach Pier is like one of the most crowded spots there is in this area. Uh, so be aware of all these things and you know, just kind of look around when you're doing stuff and you'll have fun. Another thing to remember at piers or inlets or jetties, whatever, is that they can have different rules for how close you can be to the pier. Some don't allow you to be within you know, 100 feet of the pier. Some only allow you to uh, body surf or surf or swim on one side of the pier. So look for signs, be aware, and don't get yourself in the way of anybody else that is doing what they should be doing. You know, if there's a fishing side of the pier and you paddle out, you're liable to get hooked or hit by a weight. Keeping all of those things in mind, piers can be super fun, and there's a little pier wedge is what we call it, and uh, it's one of the funner ways around here if it has the right conditions. So we're gonna go out there and see what we can find.